r slash no sleep posted by you slash joe fish 2018 i am a truck driver and i will never forget the time i broke down at four in the morning being a trucker means constant travel constant travel means constant change and constant change means constant danger this was something i had to accept when i took the job all those years ago but back then i though that nothing would ever happen to me there was no chance of me running into danger, I was completely invincible behind the wheel of my rig. But hell was I wrong. I'd crossed the state border a while ago and my eyes were starting to get heavy. I hadn't seen anyone else on the roads for miles and I was getting bored of listening to chat show after chat show. Suddenly, the truck started slowing down, I put my foot down harder on the pedal but it had no effect. I shook myself wide awake and sat up, my truck rolled a few more meters, then came to a halt. I just sat there for a minute confused, before I unclipped my belt and climbed out. I quickly came to the realization that I had run out of fuel. I was pretty pissed at myself for not paying more attention, and thinking about it, I did hear the warning bleep some time ago. I was about to call my boss when I heard a voice from behind me. I span round real fast, holding my phone as if it were a weapon. The man slowly approaching me looked to be in his early 40s, with graying hair and a mustache. He seemed to be chewing a lump of tobacco and walking with a slight limp. Looks like you've run out of gas, he croaked, still approaching me. I shrugged and told him that I'd fine and started to walk back towards the truck. I got a place not so far from here where I could get you some fuel. I didn't believe him, too many things didn't add up. Why was he out here, at this location, at this time, just as I broke down? I said that I already had some in the back and I didn't need any help. I got in and locked the doors, I just wanted this man to go away. I saw him walk off into the tree line and disappear. I called my boss and he said he'd sent someone out to tow me, but they might take some time. I ended up falling asleep where I sat, feeling much more secure with my doors locked and the man gone. I woke up some time later and realized that I was moving. I was confused at first but then remembered that someone had been sent to tow the truck. I wondered why they didn't wake me up, but maybe they tried, I'm a deep sleeper and the doors were locked. I noticed that it was still dark outside and tried to work out where we were on the map. I couldn't see any signs along the side of the road and had no clue where I was. I opened the window and shouted round to the tower where are we going? Why hadn't he just taken me to the garage? After a while we appeared to be on a very rural road, almost like we were driving through a forest. In the distance there was a large barn we seemed to be heading towards. I couldn't get the attention of the tower, so called my boss to see what was going on. He sounded extremely puzzled and said the tower wasn't due to arrive at my location for another hour. I was losing it and shouted at my boss then who the hell is towing me? My boss called the police and told me to try and get out of the vehicle. I didn't need telling twice, swung open the door and jumped out. I was winded and lay there for a moment. The tow truck then stopped, the tower must have heard the sound of the door. I got up immediately and ran, I had no clue where I was and chose a random direction. Looking over my shoulder, I saw him and immediately recognized the face. It was the man from earlier. He spat a mound of tobacco out of his mouth and jumped out of the truck. I ran faster and faster, but then I heard the noise of a gunshot ring out. I hit the floor and crawled behind the nearest tree, terrified. The man was walking fast now and shouting for me to come out. He didn't see exactly where I went, but he probably had a pretty good idea. I managed to drag myself behind a log, breathing as quietly as I could. The man was getting closer, calling turn yourself in and it'll be quick. I couldn't move anymore now. He would hear me. The man stopped right next to my log, looked around and ran off in another direction. I breathed a sigh of relief and looked out. The man was about a hundred meters away, and looking right at me. I bolted for the truck, and made it underneath, the sound of bullets slamming against the metal. I had nowhere to run, and he was here. Just as I thought it was all over, I heard the sound of sirens. The man swore and ran off into the wood. I climbed out from under the truck and met the officers that had arrived. Two of them had already run off after the man. They asked me what had happened and took me back to the station for questioning. I answered all of their questions and told them about the barn I was being towed to. It was inspected and sealed off. When asking what they found I was told that it was best I didn't know. I can only imagine what would have happened to me if I had stayed in the truck. However, I do know one thing. That man is still on the loose, and I can only pity the poor soul who runs into him next. Next story of this series. Posted by you slash Joe, Fish 2018. I am a truck driver, and I wish I'd never seen what I saw on the side of the road. As a trucker, I travel a lot, traveling to places I wish I hadn't been. As a trucker, I see a lot, 
seeing some things I wish I'd never seen. As a trucker, I experience a lot, experiencing things I wish I'd never experienced. But it is these things that make me who I am, and that is why I love the job, not knowing what I'll run into next. However, unknowing means you cannot foreplan how you will act in certain situations. And I do not make the right choices in certain situations. At all. I was in the UK a while back, taking a load up to the north of England. It was dark with few stars in the sky. I couldn't quite focus on the road for some reason, and kept fiddling with the radio. A few minutes passed of me doing this, I looked up, and caught it right in my headlights. Sprawled out on the ground was a body, it wasn't moving. I pulled the truck into the side and climbed out. I approached the body slowly, I cautiously asked are you okay, sir? No reply. I walked over, about to take his pulse, I then realized there was no need. Blood was oozing out from underneath him, an obvious stab wound. It was clear to see the man was dead, and I knew that I had to call the police. I dialed 999 and explained to them what I had found, they said that they would send someone out to me, and to stay put. A few moments later I heard voice, shouting, and the sound of footsteps, fast footsteps, hitting the floor hard. I could make out the silhouettes of two men, one carrying a bag, I knew exactly what that was for. I sprinted back to my truck and clambered in, heart pounding. How could this be happening to me? That was the question thumping inside my head. The men had made it to the body now, one chucking the bag onto then running for his car. I hadn't seen them parked on the other side of the road. The second man ran over to my truck and started trying to climb up. I opened the door powerfully on his face, he cried out in agony and fell backwards. I did the only thing I could think to do. Drive. I slammed my foot on the accelerator and got out of there as quickly as I could, relieved that I had got away in time. The relief didn't last long, as I noticed headlights behind me. I was being chased down, and of course, he was much faster than me. The car behind me was gradually gaining. I knew I couldn't outrun him, but I sure could outsize him. I waited until he was right on my tail and then crushed the brake. I was flung forward in my seat. By the time I had recovered, he was gone. I did not know where, or how I hadn't hit him. I saw it turning a few yards to the left and could only assume he had taken that. I put my foot down once again. I wanted to make sure that the other man did not catch up. I had been speeding along for a good five minutes when I noticed something in the middle of the road ahead. It was two cars. Two cars that I recognized. It was the men, they had formed some kind of roadblock. A thousand thoughts were spinning around in my head, had I really stumbled across something that serious that these people needed me dead? Why would they not just attempt to get away? What do I do now? Earlier I talked about how in certain situations I make the wrong choices. Now was one of these times. I plowed straight through the block and didn't stop. The cops arrived at the scene and questioned me on what happened and how two cars ended up lying wrecked in the middle of the road. I told them what I had done. One man had been hospitalized and the other had escaped on foot. Detectives found fresh tire marks nearby and deduced that the man had got away by car. It turned out that the men were gang leaders, the two of them had killed the man I found on the side of the road, who was also identified as the leader of a gang. I still curse myself that the other man got away. For some reason I can never shake of the feeling that somehow, I'll see him again.